Hi guys, I thought I'd show you another grocery haul. It's been two weeks since I've gone and done my big shopping, so I thought I'd bring you along and show you what this two weeks brought home. All right guys, here is the haul. Um, I actually went to three different stores and this here that we see is the Kroger that I went to. Whenever I go to, quote unquote, the big town, I do like to stock up. So in my last grocery haul, you see a lot of different items. Because I didn't need those items this week, I didn't buy them. So let's get on with this. I kind of set the food up so I can kind of see from my list where to start and what everything is. So let's see if I can get this good. All right, so we have Pepsi over here. Uh, my husband likes to take Pepsi every once in a while, and actually he hasn't been taking it very much. So that'll probably last us a little bit. But we do have visitors coming over on the weekends, so it gets drank up that way. But this here is eight for five ninety nine. I have rice. I'm hoping that Rod is going to like this blend of wild rice. We went to Minnesota a few years ago, and we bought a bunch of different wild rices that were just amazing. So I'm going to try this. That's $8. That's a lot of money for rice. However, I believe that Rod's really going to like this. It's going to give us another starch that we can eat for our meals. So I'm kind of excited about that. I got a mozzarella log. I'm going to make a pizza that I saw with one of the YouTubers I watch, Laura in the Kitchen. I think that's it, Laura in the Kitchen. She's amazing. She just cuts this up and puts it on her pizza. So I bought that, and that was six, excuse me, six forty nine. Some of these are splurges, such as that cheese. Uh, then I got hamburger buns. I got two of them, and those are two fifty each. They were 29 cents off, so I grabbed those. Usually I do buy the Kroger brand. I wanted to try these. I love the thought that they have all the different uh, seeds and stuff on there. So I thought I'd try those, and we got this Meow Mix. And I don't know if you can hear my cats. We have the cat food right there. That's Wayward, and Quincy's around here somewhere getting ready to jump him. <laughs> it's so funny the way they play. But we needed the Meow Mix. So I grabbed that, and that was $12.99. I had an e-coupon for a dollar off. I got Dixie plates. I usually don't buy these. I buy the regular generic soft type of paper plates. But, you know, I've encouraged my sister to buy these so that when she's cooking for, for herself and my dad, it's easier just to use these. So that's what she's do been doing, and I thought, why don't I do that too? These are stronger, they'll help with those messier foods. For dry cloths right here, I thought I'd try these. If they don't work, guys, I'm taking them back. I wanna make sure that they are good for my floors and all that stuff. I think it'll, it'll work, I think they'll be fine. Those were, I'm sorry, the Dixie plates were $2.99. The Swiffer, which those are actually kind of a splurge. Those were $7.99. And then I have breadcrumbs. Each of these were $1.79. I ran out of those, and I use those often, at least twice a week. Lay's potato chips. This here was $7.99. I do like to have these on hand, not only for guests when they come over, just a simple snack, uh, but they're also really good to throw in Rod's lunch or to take with me when I go to the park to work. And that bag of 18 will last us for quite a while. Again, unless we have company come over on the weekends. Those were $7.99. And then I did buy a bag of ice because I have cold food, and I knew that I needed ice, so that was $1.79. I usually try to bring my own ice, but I forgot. I have sugar. You'll see I have a big one and a little one. This one here is going to go <clears throat> excuse me, into storage. This one here I'll open. We're totally out of sugar. So most of this... <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Most of this will go into my container. The rest of it I'll hold on to and then refill my container. So let's see. 
the large one was $4.97, the small one is $1.99, and that's one pound and this is 10. Just the shredded real Parmesan. That is so good. So I stocked up on that. It's more expensive here in, in the little store. So I bought two of those and they were each, let me find where I'm at, uh, $2.99. And those will last us a good long time. I don't want to say it'll last us two weeks, but it probably will. Just depends on what I'm going to be making. I bought orange juice here three ninety nine for orange juice at the local store it is seven dollars so I got this I got butter uh, let's see the butter was three nineteen not the sale price but it's still a, a decent price and then disinfectant wipes right here they were on sale I had one of those reduced prices so I grabbed that $1.29, can't go wrong there. Uh, and I'll use those at the park when I'm there uh, working. I like to, you know, wipe off the desk or whatever, and those will come in handy. I also bought yogurt, Yoplait yogurt, 29 cents. I got four of those. And then Rod really likes the fruit on the bottom yogurts. They don't have those here in this store. So I bought uh, 10 of them, two, four, six, yeah, I've got 10 of them. And those, the Yoplait's were 29. The other yogurts are 40 cents each. And then my coupon, oh, I got uh, garlic powder for $8.99. But then I got Kroger savings of $2.50. So that must have been on sale. I got yogurt, let me get past the yogurt on my receipt. I got asparagus. It was on sale, and we do love asparagus. A dollar forty-nine. That is a dollar forty-nine a pound. So I only paid one forty-four for that, for this here, and that's that's a good amount. That'll feed Rod and I no problem. I got storage bags, ninety-nine cents. I like the Kroger storage bags. They work wonderfully. I got off. I got Deep Woods off. It was a dollar uh, off on that, so each one of those was a dollar, or excuse me, each one of them was five ninety nine, and I had a dollar off. And then I have right up here pineapple chunks. I got these. I'm thinking about making shish kebabs, and that would be really good with uh, beef and peppers and onions. So I got that. That was a dollar thirty nine. I only got one. Then cream of tartar and ginger. They were both $4. They were $3.99. You think that I could get the spice that was $1.99? No, it had to be those two that expensive. Mrs. Wages, I thought I'd try this. One of our friends, uh, Rick's daughter, Megan, was talking about she loves salsa that somebody makes. So I'm going to try this. I'm also thinking about trying uh, doing the canning ball canning book. They have a recipe in that one, too. I'll try this one first and see how that one comes out. So that Mrs. Wages was a dollar, or excuse me, two eighty nine dollars with a $0.40 cent coupon. Then I got one avocado. I don't know if I like avocados. I did try an avocado dip in uh, a restaurant that I had gone to with a friend of mine, and it was delicious. So... I thought I'd try avocado. If I like it, great. If I don't, well, that's all right. I won't buy another one. It was 97 cents. Uh, let's see. I got sauce. This here, I thought I'd try. It, it's a splurge. You know, make it a little different. My asparagus, you know, throw it into the pan, and I'll use this stuff here. And that was $1.99. So, yeah, that's a big splurge. Uh, Kroger, cough and cold, $5.79. I could have gotten the name brand NyQuil for $10 with a dollar off. I said, no, I'll just go with the Kroger brand. So all of this was from Kroger, and it was $155.40, with a total savings of $8.67. So that's, that's what I got. Now I will take you put my receipt down. Over here I have some fresh vegetables. We have a market, a fruit market in 
the big down. So I got these tiny little tomatoes for Rod's lunches. I'll take these two on Friday when I go uh, on my picnic work. And then strawberries. They look so good. I had to grab those. I have six corn. I have a cantaloupe. And I have potatoes. I don't remember the price of these. I will let you know later. I bought white and red tomato or potatoes. Rod saw a smashed potato recipe on one of those little snap things on YouTube. So I'm going to try to make that. I'll use these and my delicious Parmesan cheese. All right, here's the meat I bought. I have four pounds of ground beef, and those were is it five dollars a pound, four ninety nine. So that's getting up there. This is ninety ten percent. I bought country ribs for five pounds for twenty three twenty two, and then cheese. Let's see, the cheese was is it on four nineteen. This is just something simple. Uh, the meat market price is pretty comparable to the Kroger price. I got this apple cinnamon barbecue sauce. I thought I'd try that and strawberry preserves. This here I'm going to send to my dad. And I thought I'd try this myself. So that is the grocery haul, guys. I'm going to put this all away and um, I don't know where I'm going to put it all but I will find room. So I'm also going to show you some of the ways that I'm using up the food and just making quick snips of meals, like uh, what we're having for dinner tonight type of thing. So keep watching.